All right, y'all, welcome back to Common Arms Channel. Okay, so you guys can see I'm here in the gym. So I was about to hit a workout, but since I'm dressed like this, I figured I would do a video that you guys have been requesting for a long time. So as I'm recording this, I'm about to hit 300,000 subscribers, so I figured I'd do a special little kind of video. And again, this was requested a bunch, so I figured I would try and facilitate. So you guys can see I have a bunch of tattoos. That's nothing really new, but a lot of y'all have been wanting me to sort of explain my tattoos why I got certain tattoos, what they mean, if they do mean anything, maybe like when I got them and also why I put them in certain areas, but that's pretty much it. I will say a lot of these tattoos are cosmetic, so it's kind of just like, I like the look of it. And you can see, I also have like gaps here and there, so I'm just trying to like fill up with you know certain tattoos and putting them in certain areas. So I'll sort of do like a little closer view so you guys can see everything a little bit better. And yeah, I guess I'll explain my tattoos. I will say I have 35 or 36, maybe even 37 tattoos. I don't really know anymore. But yeah, I'm not going to show all of them. Yeah, but we'll do a close up and I'll sort of explain all of these, especially the ones that you guys pretty much see on the regular. So the ones that you see on my arms and whatnot. Okay, so sort of starting on my right arm. So. You guys can see here, a lot of y'all, at least a lot of people in the military think that this is the Marine Corps Eagle Globe and Anchor, but in reality, it's just the UNSC logo from Halo. So if you guys don't know, I'm a big fan of Halo, and that's kind of why I got this one. This one's pretty old. This is actually my third tattoo, so it's definitely, I mean, I think it's, it's healed pretty well. It's holding up pretty well, but yeah, that's definitely one of the older ones, and you can kind of tell. So right underneath it, this one is kind of messy, but it's like the dragon with a Gemini symbol. That's just because I was born in June, so that's kind of why I got that one. That was my fifth tattoo. So again, I got to my first like six tattoos in really close succession. So the ideas weren't really well thought out. I like this one a lot. I still like this one. This one, nah, not so much, but you can see that's kind of getting dwarfed now by this almost like watercolor tattoo which is kind of like a quarter sleeve. You can see it's like spray paint. So like the, the paint's actually running down and whatnot. This is a cool one. So this is actually inspired by a Coldplay album, which you can see right up here. So this Coldplay album right there, sort of the, the cover art. I really like the old like spray paint style look to it. So that's kind of what I got there. In addition to that, you guys can see this is my Coldplay tattoo, and a lot of y'all are always wondering why I'm a fan of Coldplay. Well, because they're freaking awesome, so. And then this is also styled on that same album right over here. So again, kind of like that spray paint vibe. This was my sixth tattoo, maybe like my seventh, and this is holding up really well as far as like the colors and whatnot, so. This is a, a pretty sweet tattoo. It's definitely one of my favorites. And you guys can also see this constellation tattoo here. So this is called Pleiades, also called the Seven Sisters. And it's, I don't know, it's really easy for me to spot this constellation. I've always ended up seeing it, especially like looking through night vision. I always seem to find this like specific star cluster. And I don't know, it's just really cool. It's kind of just got good memories looking up at the stars and seeing this thing. It's like pretty reliable, so I don't know. It's kind of cool to sort of Put it on my arm there and again you can see that's kind of like filler because it just happened to fit that space pretty good now you guys can see here this is new jersey with like the usa flag colors a lot of people they see this and they ask if i'm puerto rican which i am but i don't know why they think puerto rico when they see that i mean i guess a puerto rican flag kind of looks similar but <laughs> yeah so that's kind of a weird one so this is actually based off of a painting, my favorite painting, which is called Liberty Leading the People. And I think it, it's basically about the, the French Revolution. It's, it was painted by Eugene Dela, Delacroix. I don't really know how to say the last name, but it's a pretty cool painting. And at the same time, it's also used in some Coldplay album art again. So <laughs> you can see a lot of the inspiration comes from Coldplay. So this one, this is actually the military symbol for a medium cargo helicopter. So I got this because of my helo crash. You can see I have the date there. It's also the same as my, my bracelet here. But yeah, that's when our helo crashed and that was the type of helicopter. So it was the CH-53, which is like a cargo helicopter. So moving over to this side, I have 
a Naruto tattoo. So if you guys are into anime, which I used to be, not so much anymore, that's kind of why I got this one. But I think it's pretty cool. It's basically like what all the badass like black ops ninjas wear on their on their shoulder. So that's kind of why I got that one. Now this one is a Japanese kanji, which I'm pretty sure I translated correctly. I like triple checked it. So I, I don't really know, I could be wrong, but that means sincerity. Cause I think, you know, sincerity is a pretty good thing to have. You know, if you can't really trust certain individuals, then you kind of lose a lot. So yeah, I think that, that definitely holds true as far as like some of my personal values. So it's kind of cool to have that one. Now back here, hell yeah. So this is, you can kind of see, it's like Daft Punk, James Bond kind of fusion. This is a badass tattoo. I just like how dark it looks, but this is, I mean, obviously you guys can see I like Daft Punk because I have the records right over here. Now I like Daft Punk, but at the same time, I love James Bond. And I think just like combining them was like a really cool look. So I sketched it up, gave it to the artist and they turned it into this, which is, Pretty dope. <laughs> so again, I don't really, there's not a whole lot of reasoning behind it, but I think it looks cool. This was a small little tattoo. Again, it's just part of like filler. So it doesn't really mean a whole lot. I'm going to add to this one later on, but for now it's kind of just chilling there. Now you guys can see down here, I have Virginia's for lovers. So that's kind of like the Virginia state motto. The reason I got that is because I was actually married in, married in Virginia, so. I figured it would be a cool thing to sort of commemorate that, I guess. At the same time, there was a tattoo convention in Virginia, so I figured why not I'd also commemorate the tattoo convention. Here we just have like this cool pirate face girl. That was like part of some tattoo special and I thought it looked cool, so I figured I would just put it right there. Again, part of like filler. Now over here we have a Japanese food dog. I just think these are really cool and the like the myth mythology, I guess, behind it is pretty cool as well as far as them being used for like waterway demons and bad spirits. Overall, I think it just looks cool. This is one of my older tattoos, but it's still holding up pretty well. Now, this is a tattoo I got for my daughter because she used to love rubber ducks. So I kind of just got that one there and it came out pretty well. It's kind of funny having it like right on my wrist because a lot of people see it and they wonder what the heck this rubber ducky is all about. But yeah, it's basically for my daughter. Now this one, this is the Omen. So this was actually, I think um, one of my old buddies sketched this up for our recon platoon. But yeah, it's basically like a, a skull with the compass behind it. And that's basically our reconnaissance platoon symbol, which I think just looks badass. So I ended up getting a, a tattoo version of it over here on my arm. I think it's pretty cool placement too. It's a cool thing. You need to, I feel like you need to have something badass on the forearm. So <laughs> yeah, it's good real estate. Now, something that you guys have asked a lot is what is on my inner bicep. So if you ever played the game Portal, which if you haven't, I highly recommend it because it's a really, really fun game. That's basically what's going on here. So you can see this dude's going through the portal and he's coming out right over here. Fits pretty good with the biceps. And again, it's just, it's kind of just one of those cool ideas I had when I was younger. Still a badass game. I still think I had some, some pretty solid memories with it. So I'm very happy with these still. And again, yeah, it just, it fits cool. But again, a lot of people are always wondering cause they just see like a little sliver of the tattoo and it looks kind of weird. Okay, so now I guess kind of moving over to the back. This is my first tattoo ever. So this is a Game of Thrones tattoo. And I think the Starks were just like the most badass family in that show because I read all the books, I watched all of the seasons, and it's just a badass show. Badass show, badass book, really cool sort of idea. And the Starks were just badass, so I kind of got that. It also helps when the family symbol looks really cool. So I got that tattoo in 2013. It might have even been 2012 because I got it when I was on leave around Christmas time from 2012 to 2013. So yeah, it was just, it was a cool thing I was into and I think it fits pretty well right there on the shoulder. So right over here, I have something for my wife. It's like an Irish uh, Clada symbol. I don't, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but if you guys are Irish, please help me out. But yeah, it's basically why I got that. Just her initials and whatnot, you know, all that cushy stuff. Now, right over here, moving on to the chest, we have the join or die tattoo. Very, very cool. Very American symbology right there. So this was actually a comic made by Benjamin Franklin. I think in like the 
1750s, maybe like late 1750s. And it was basically him trying to get all the colonies to band together and tell Great Britain to, you know, get bent basically. Pretty cool, very American. And I think the image just looks badass and it looks cool being on the chest as well. Now, over here, I know I'm hitting my microphone, so hopefully the audio is not getting too jacked up. I have my Triforce, so I was a big Legend of Zelda fan. I'm still a big fan of it. I don't play it as much because I don't have that much time, but I love, I love Legend of Zelda. The music is incredible. It's just, it was just super fun. A big part of my childhood. So a lot of this stuff is just like a big part of my childhood, like Halo and Portal and whatnot. So it was just stuff that I really liked and I kind of wanted to immortalize it on my skin basically. Cause I think when you're older, everything is just going to increase in value cause you get like that nostalgic feeling when you think about certain things. So I don't think when I'm like 40, whatever I'm into is not going to feel as cool as stuff as I was into back in the day, if that makes any sense. And then right down here is my spider tattoo. So this is actually a golden silk orb weaver, which if you're from Louisiana, or if you spend any time there, it's basically a banana spider. So I'll post a picture so you guys can see what they actually look like, but it's just a really, really cool spider. And I loved seeing them when I was over in Louisiana. So I figured I would get a tattoo of it. Now, another really cool story about this is if you guys know the YouTube channel Kurtz Gazette, I used to be a Patreon supporter for them for like a few months maybe like six months even, but I was supporting them and you can get like one of their little ducks made as like a character. And instead of doing that, I asked to see if I could just have this spider made for me in their sort of style. And they did it and it was really, really cool. And I, I don't know, it's just a cool story. And I was happy that they did that for me. So I got it tattooed on me. Yeah, so <laughs> pretty cool story there. Now I do have a tattoo down here, which you can kind of see but I'm not going to post that on this video. So if you guys want to check that out, you're gonna to have to check out my only, or you're gonna to have to check out my Instagram or something, or I'll, you know, maybe I'll, I'll put it on the Patreon as well. So if you guys want to check out the Patreon, support me there, you can check out this tattoo over there. Okay, now moving down to the legs. So right here is my obligatory Marine Corps tattoo. So this is kind of styled like old school tattoos. So like the, the Sailor Jerry, if you will. And yeah, I think it was just cool styling, different from the normal Eagle Globe and Anchor that every Marine gets, and a little bit in a less obnoxious spot, I think. But again, this is good real estate on the thigh, so I figured I'd get something that you know means a lot to me. So I kind of just threw that there. Now over on this side, we have another tattoo inspired by Coldplay. So there's a lot going on with this tattoo right here. So this was actually inspired by the Coldplay song, Speed of Sound. And you're not really going to understand it unless you know the lyrics and can kind of just put them into an image. So I had the idea, I sort of sketched it up and then the tattoo artist helped me sort of refine it and make it look more tattoo-ish, tattoo-y, I don't know, yeah. But it came out pretty cool. And again, it's just good real estate. So it fits the thigh pretty well, so yeah, very happy with that one. Now this tattoo was an absolute struggle because it took like nine hours, and at that point, my skin was just super like tender and my leg was super swollen, so not a fun time, but I'm very, very happy with how it came out. Okay, now again, this is also really good real estate here. So this is a pink ribbon, so this is actually for breast cancer because my wife's mom actually passed away from breast cancer, so that's why I had that tattoo there. Now I do, oh, what the heck was that? So on my cap, I got my name tattooed there. I don't really know why, I kind of just like the font. So I wanted to use it and I didn't know what to put so I just put my last name, which is kind of douchey admittedly, but yeah, I mean, I guess it still looks kind of cool. <laughs> so right under that, is my poppy tattoo. So when I was deployed, we were trampling through some farmers. It was actually a weed field, which is kind of funny. He wasn't very happy with that. But once we were done trampling and messing up his stuff, we found this little poppy, or at least I found this little poppy when we were sitting down taking a break. And it was kind of just like the only poppy in the area. It was kind of like sticking out a lot. And I took a picture of it and yeah, I guess I kind of just immortalized it. This is supposed to be like grass. It doesn't really look at that. It kind of looks like fire, but I mean, it is what it is, I guess. But yeah, the poppy meant a lot 
So I kind of just wanted to get a tattoo of that. Okay, so right here is my Animal Crossing tattoo. So if you guys have ever played Animal Crossing, you might recognize this dude. So this was a game I played a lot when I was a kid. So it was a really, really good time. It was really fun to play it during the summer when I wasn't really doing anything. So that definitely has a lot of nostalgia right there as far as me playing that game. And I played that sucker a lot. Okay, so moving on to the other leg. We have a couple ones. So this is like just like an 8-bit style heart. It's kind of like Legend of Zelda looking. So this is actually a matching tattoo that I have with my wife. So she basically has the, the mirrored version of this, so the other side. Again, one of those cushy kind of things you, you do with your with your significant other. <laughs> but it looks pretty cool. So right underneath that is something that you guys might not recognize, but this is from a podcast by the Yogg's cast. But yeah, they have a podcast called the Triforce, and it's just something that I used to listen to a lot. So yeah, I, I kind of just threw that there. Not really in the best real estate, so that's kind of why I threw it there. But yeah, good times. Now, on the back of this calf, you guys might have seen this from my merch design. So this is something I drew up, I think in like 2017. And yeah, it's basically a flashbang. So the same type of flashbang that I used when I was on the CQB team. And it says, banging deep. So of course that has a couple of different meanings. When we would use it on the CQB team, it basically meant that we were throwing a flashbang to the back of the room. But uh, yeah, of course it's got, uh, it's got other meanings. But yeah, it looks cool. And yeah, it just, it fits that area pretty well. But you can see I definitely need to fill up the tattoos because... Uh, yeah, there's definitely some spots that need that need fill in here. Okay, now the last tattoos that I have are on my hand. So if I can get this in focus, maybe. This is the infantry symbol. And it says 0311. So that is my Marine MOS. So that was my Marine MOS. So infantry rifleman. And yeah, of course it's on my trigger finger. So yeah, again, I think it kind of just fit pretty cool there. And I kind of just like hand tattoos. I think they look pretty cool. I don't know, maybe if, I don't know if I'll get like my full hands tattooed whenever I can, but yeah, it is kind of cool to have some hand tattoos. And of course, since I don't really like wearing a wedding band because it's super annoying, I just have this tattoo on my finger. Yeah, I don't really like wearing rings in general. I kind of try jewelry, but not a huge fan of it overall. But yeah, that is basically it. That is basically all my tattoos. I do have a lot of ideas for other tattoos, so you might see some more tattoos pop up here and there, because again, I do need to fill out and uh, do some stuff. I probably won't do like any weird like YouTube tattoo. I'm, I, I, don't, I, I love the channel and I love doing the channel and I'm very passionate about it, but it's not really something that translates well into a tattoo. There's certain things that don't translate well into a tattoo, but Coldplay definitely does, and I've sort of explained why Coldplay translates very well into my tattoos. But that's basically it. Of course, you guys will see some stuff showing up every now and again. I probably won't do another update video for my tattoos because I don't think I'll get that many more. But uh, yeah, I do love having tattoos. It's pretty cool. It's just like a way to like advertise what I like, I guess. And it's just kind of cool to have you know artwork on your on your skin. But of course, a lot of people will disagree and that's totally fine. It's just personal kind of thing. But yeah, it's cool to have tattoos and it, it kind of makes the gains pop a little bit more as well. So that kind of helps. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, again, I'm gonna try and do some of the more personal stuff, but I'll try and keep it for some special occasions like this one. But I will still do the 300,000 subscriber update video so you guys can sort of get a better idea of what's going on. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with YouTube. I have a lot of funny ideas for shorts. I kind of just need time to go up and film them. Now it is going to be winter, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to have as much access to the mountains where I go and shoot, but I guess we'll have to see. Maybe I can get some cool snow shorts in or something, but yeah, having a lot of fun with YouTube basically. So thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you for, you know, keeping me motivated for, for doing this kind of thing. Again, I was doing YouTube for a very long time without a whole lot of subscribers. And I was, you know, just enjoying doing that. And I still enjoy doing videos, but it is really cool to sort of see that encouragement. So I do appreciate it. So if you guys want to talk to other members of the community, 
then you can go down in the Discord. You can support me on Patreon. You can just hit the subscribe button, hit that bell, and it really helps me out. So thank you guys again. Thank you for commenting. Let me know what you think about the videos because it's cool to sort of get that feedback. But that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will see you on the next one.